just love and just loves you. So we walk, we walk by faith, not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. The righteous shall live by faith. So it's not just faith. Uh, it's not just faith in what Jesus did on the cross. It's believing in Jesus. It's believing in Jesus, the person, and what he did on the cross. So you believe in Jesus and what he accomplished on the cross, and you give your life to Jesus. So uh, it's a walk by faith. It's a the just shall live by faith. So it's walking by faith, it's living by faith in Jesus and what he did on the cross. But like I said, it's living by faith and walking by faith. Keep in step with the Spirit. You're supposed to keep in step with the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, holiness, so and love. But uh, the Holy Spirit, keep in step with the Spirit and you won't gratify the desires of the flesh. Feed, this, feed the Holy Spirit, not the flesh. So anyways, it's a walk by faith. It's a living by faith. And even people before they're saved, God can still communicate to them through the Bible, the New Testament, and through the Holy Spirit, and through wise counsel. So even before you're saved, on your way to getting saved, some people can... Today is the day of salvation. So if you can give your life to Jesus right now, do it. Um like give your life to Jesus. And if it doesn't work, you live by faith, you walk by faith, you follow Jesus. And if you live by faith and walk by faith, that's going to cause actions. You're going to do stuff. You're going to read the Bible. You're going to pray. You're going to seek God. You're going to ask God to save you. Like, God, please save me. Uh, please save me. Please reveal Jesus to me. Jesus, reveal the Father. Uh, you know, Jesus... Jesus is fully God. The fullness of the Trinity, the fullness of the Godhead is in Jesus. Jesus is the one you give your life to. So if before you're saved, you walk by faith, you live by faith, Jesus, what do you want me to do? Everything's about Jesus. And then when you finally find Jesus and you give Jesus your whole life, when you give Jesus your whole life, Jesus comes to live in you. Jesus comes to live in you, and then you can then you're actually going to be fully doing it. Like you have the God of the universe living in you. You have Jesus living in you. And so, uh, and then you'll be like, then you'll be savingly walking by faith, living by faith. Before I was saved, I was trying to follow Jesus. But when I got saved, now I can actually do it how it's supposed to be done. And I'm going to heaven when I die. So there's a difference between saving faith and non-saving faith. So once you give your whole life to Jesus, you have saving faith, and you're going to be savingly walking by faith, savingly living by faith, and it's all and, and that's going to cause actions. You're still going to read your Bible, you're going to pray, and except now you can hear God's voice, uh, you can feel the Holy Spirit in your heart. Uh, so you're going to. Uh, it's not just. Like the Old Testament, people focused on works. You got to do this. You got to obey this law. You got to do this. Do, 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 do. And then in the New Testament, they went. So it was all about what people can do, what humans can do. And then in the New Testament, we've swung way too far the other way. Now it's Jesus did it on the cross. Jesus did it all. So it was, I have to do it all. I have to do it all. I have to do it all. Then then now, now in the in the church, it's Jesus did it all. Jesus did it all. Jesus did it all. All right, you working on your own, like the Old Testament, you working on your own, you're never going to be good enough. You have to be as good as God. Once you realize you're not as good as God, then you give your life to Jesus, and you're made right with God through Jesus' sacrifice. But also, it's not just Jesus did it on the cross, like. You have to be made new. It's all about meeting Jesus. It's reconciliation with God. The whole Bible is about reconciliation with God. So it's not you do it and it's not Jesus did it. It's you and Jesus, you and Jesus walking by faith, living by faith in Jesus, which will cause actions like reading Christian books, reading the Bible, praying, trying to get saved, asking God to save you, seeking with all your heart until you find Jesus. You'll find me when you seek me, when you seek me with all your heart and don't give up. So, uh, 
So you and Jesus together walk by faith and live by faith until you're saved. And then you give your whole life to Jesus. You and God get married, so to speak. It's weird, but I, it's not weird, but it sounds whatever. So you give your whole life to, you walk by faith and live, you walk by faith and live by faith with Jesus until you give your whole life to Jesus. Then you're saved and born again. Then you can really walk by faith and live by faith with Jesus because you can hear his voice. You can feel his Holy Spirit in your heart. Instead of God being with you, now he's in you. He's living inside you. So, uh, before you're saved, you're trying to get saved and walk by faith. And it's just, you need Jesus living in you. You have to give your whole life to Jesus. So it's always, it's you and Jesus trying to get, trying to get married, trying to get saved, trying to, it says this, uh, our spirit and the spirit of Jesus are one. So you're trying to like connect with Jesus, give him your whole life. And like I said, and then you can walk by faith and live by faith, which, which will produce actions. It will produce words like you'll talk about Jesus. You'll live Jesus. You'll do Jesus things. So. So uh, anyways, so that's what I wanted to say. Like, it's not about I do it all. And like you have to have you have to walk by faith. You need Jesus. And it's not about Jesus did it all. You walk by faith and li you walk by faith and you live by faith. So anyways, I feel like I'm getting confused, but, uh, anyways, so it's, it's not just believe in Jesus and it's not, you do it all. It's walk by faith, live by faith until you get saved. And then when you get saved, Jesus comes to live in you, which is infinitely eternally better. And you're saved. Eternal life is knowing Jesus. So when you get saved, then you know Jesus. He knows you. He lives in your heart. You have the Holy Spirit living in you now, not just with you, but God lives in you. So then you'll actually be walking by faith, fully living by faith, savingly you're saved. And uh, so the difference is, is God, God living in you. But like I said, it's regardless before salvation or after salvation, it's walking by faith, which will produce actions, living by faith, which will produce actions. But you have to come to that point of being born again, regeneration, transformation, you're saved, you're sanctified, boom, atom bomb. Then, then you can really follow God because you know him, he's your friend. You have to submit to him as your master, you're his slave. Anyways, love Jesus, loves you. Cheers. Cheers.